Hey everyone, bear with me for a moment as I attempt to explain uh, some tests that I'm about to run on the DeLorean to answer uh, three questions at the same time. And I, I realized that I could do this test probably in a better way with, with a Y connector. I don't have one, I'm not gonna set it up. This is just kind of what I got going here. I'm gonna talk this through. Uh, I'm going to be measuring first my oil pressure, my actual oil pressure. Uh, by removing the oil sending unit, hooking up a gauge directly to it, we're going to be starting on a, a cold start, looking at our, our cold start pressure, and bringing this car up, monitoring it at intervals, and seeing uh, as it warms up, as the pressure drops down, our first fan cycle as the fan kicks on, and then ultimately when the fan turns on, I say about the third time, We'll call that fully warmed up for, for a garage warm up. While this is going on, with the sending unit disconnected, I'm gonna be uh, tying off the gauge up front to ground. I don't want that, that needle sticking up, so I'm gonna have it at zero. Once I have these values, I'm going to reconnect the sending unit. And when I reconnect the sending unit, I'm going to look at the engine, and this could be the next day completely cold again. I'm going to repeat this test and I'm going to look at those values in ohms and I'm going to correlate those values in ohms from completely cold to fully warmed up again, one fan cycle and then three fan cycles. And then using a resistor box, I'm going to map out those positions on the gauge up front. So I wanna see what that gauge is providing in ohms to see if there's an accurate correlation between what the actual pressure is and the, the values written on the gauge. So I'm accomplishing a couple things. Number one, I'm finding out what my actual oil pressure is from cold to full temperature. And number two, I'm finding out if the sending unit is, is providing meaningful data up front if it's telling me that pressure is accurate. So let's get started with this test. This will be a measure of DeLorean oil pressures. This is, this is cold, the engine's first turning on now. It's only been running for about, I don't know, a minute or so, two minutes. During this test, I shorted signal to ground, so it's uh, pointing to zero right now onto the frame. I'm waiting on a full cycle on the fans. I want the fans to kick on and off to see what this value is gonna be. This is what the book states with regard to oil pressure with a warm engine. A uh, new oil filter, all of which I have, 900 RPM should be 14.2 PSI, 3000 RPM should read, we'll just say 60 PSI. Oil in question here is uh, 10W40 for this test. Interesting is the incredible amount of time it takes this oil to eat up at idle. I realize that it's like, what, seven liters of oil, but this thing is still going. The car still hasn't come to temperature. Granted, it is the middle of the winter in Florida, but we're, we're still going waiting for the pans to cycle. Pans just came on with the uh, idle pressure showing just over 30 on this scale, as you can see. So I think what you see, full temperature idling, it's showing you here at around, what, 26, 27. I'm going to cut it off there. I think that's full temperature at this point. I got about three cycles of the fan. We're going to call it 26, 27 pounds. Now I've marked these values in uh, PSI roughly in terms of ohms on this decade box and looked at those values up front on the dashboard. I still need to put the sending unit back in and see what those ohms are if they correspond to the same values. When I redo that test using the sending unit, now knowing what those values are on cold start all the way to heat up with three fan cycles. So now we're gonna drop the old sending unit back in just put some new Teflon tape on it. That's it. Clean everything up. Nothing more. On the other side, I'm going to set up my decade box right quick. We're going to run a, a quick test through here on the tens. As we go, here's a zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then just consolation prize 90 so we're gonna run those up and we're gonna take a look at where those sit on the meter 
with the car running full operation, you know, regular voltages. So we see what's what. Got all my test cables hooked up now. Uh, some are going to the multimeter, some are going to the uh, to the resistor box for further testing. Off the bat, it's worth noting as it sits, um, I'm seeing 27.8 ohms connected right up to the device, right? So um, I'm gonna check my grounds. One of these wires goes directly to the hot, the other one's connected to the, to the uh, um, to the uh, uh, pipe there by the muffler. I'm gonna see if I get a, get, get a better ground, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Doing strange things here. You can see it's now at 15, 14, right? Sitting there and I move the connector a little bit and I let go to 23, 46. And I wiggle it a little, 15, 16, Very strange. As I wiggle the connector in its inner shell in that white plastic piece, plastic piece here that, it, that it's seated in, back and forth, up and down, the resistance seems to, seems to drop. I don't know what's going on here. As I put it back on, it gets lower. Thing could be going bad, I don't know. Whatever it is, now I'm seeing about nine ohms, just about nine ohms uh, with the engine off. After making an inquiry with several people, including John Hervey, come to find that uh, eight ohms is about correct for these, eight to 10, I would see a nine plus one in the cable, tells me that the uh, starting resistance for no pressure seems about correct on my unit. Look, oh, it shows nine ohms just above the zero mark. This is startup. I've set this box now for 83 ohms. And this is what we're seeing. And we will check this value against the value that I saw on the gauge when I first turned on the car last time. I'll put it in the top right corner. I'm gonna put that in the top right corner over here. Remember, this is not connected to the engine. This is connected to the, uh, the decade resistor. When we get our third fan running, I will go and check what the resistance value is on the uh, pressure gauge on the uh, on the multimeter, I will dial that in. We will take a look at it, what it is on the gauge, and then we will look and see what it is. Continuing on right now, still heating up. I can see it's down to uh, the peak 70, so I'm going to adjust this to 70. Here's what 70 ohms looks like. It's in about 60 right now. Let's take a look at 60. We're going to see what 60 looks like. We're going to adjust the box for it. So here we go, this is 60 ohms on the box. I'll point out that there's one ohm of resistance in my cables that I tested. So it's off by one ohm. I don't think that really matters for this test, but I have to say it for completeness. Sitting in at around 50 now, I'm gonna go and adjust the box, see what 50 looks like on the dash. So it looks like 50 ohms brings you to the halfway point. Just had our first fan cycle come on right now. I'm gonna let it stabilize. Now I'm gonna say about 45. So there we go, that's what 45 looks like. I've got the second fan event going on right now. We got one more fan event, and then I'm just gonna go through the last of the numbers and shut it down. So just for measurements here, this would be 40 ohms, 30 ohms. This is 20, and this is 10. And this is kind of where it was when I turned the car, but I didn't start the engine. It makes me wonder if there's an uh, extra resistance in here that there shouldn't be. And here it is reconnected to the car at full temperature, showing my idle oil pressure a little high. I imagine those, uh, those 9 ohms might have brought it down a bit into the normal position, which is just off the first dash. That's it for now. We're shutting it down. So I hope you found this test conducted on the uh, DeLorean uh, meaningful that these values may have helped you in troubleshooting or getting data from your DeLorean for knowing your oil pressure, finding out if your oil pressure gauge was providing any meaningful data or the sending unit was working properly. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply?